Boy, do I have an interesting one to show you guys. Did this fight just happen? I wasn't recording commentary. I was just trying to, just trying to play, um, get a few fights in on this account, and I ran into this dude, this this Robert Whitaker. Now, what you guys are going to find out is this is a good player. He's actually not bad at the game at all. And I say this all the time. Every single time I've been fake glove to, as you guys can see, names. Haru Nader or whatever he's got he's division tw division 20 dude's good. He's good at what he does Every time I've been fake glove touched by anybody in this game It's always been by players that are not good at all like I've never been fake glove touched by a player that was Even remotely decent. This is the first time so starting the fight off we touch gloves everything's okay fight starting off per perfectly fine. We're about to have a good match I'm using Michael Bisbang, the um, updated icon Michael Bisbang. Of course, he switches stances. He goes southpaw, and he's, you know, he's trying to do his thing. I think he he maybe thought he was, you know, he was going to just have his way with me on the feet. But you're going to see that that's not really going to work out too well in his favor. And this dude immediately got pissed, like instantly, instantaneous. As you guys are going to watch, I am not block breaking him. I'm not doing anything cheesy. I'm trying to play him as clean as possible so these guys can't have any excuse. I'm just, I'm, I'm fighting him in a very, very normal way. I'm not doing anything that you could possibly consider to be cheesy or ex exploiting the game. Um, he just got frustrated, as you'll see, literally because he could not have his way with me. And that is the funniest part when players get like that. So right there, he's still in Southpaw. Right there, he switches back to his conventional stance because um, I figured he would switch back because this is m probably where he's most comfortable at. And he's starting to realize that the striking is, uh, is, a, is a bit harder than he thought it would be. So he switches back to the stance he's most comfortable at. He whiffs that right there. And right there, I can already tell he's getting frustrated. He's uh, Now he starts to shoot takedowns. He's starting to shoot. He wants to take me down. He's getting sick of this. Pro he probably lost his last something for some reason. He just did not want to keep this one standing. The moment he felt that he could possibly lose on the feet, trying to take me down. Right there, he tries to get me in the clinch. I notice what he's doing, and I'm gonna just tee off on his head over and over again. Sit him down again with the with the uppercut. He does eventually get a pull elbow on me, which tells me, yeah, this man is uh He's pulling out all the stops. There's the pull elbow. <laughs> gets, gets a knockdown. He gets on top. And from here, I'm just like, okay, this is he he he's possibly looking for a way to submit me at this point. Um, the striking is not working for him. And I get this beautiful, beautiful, awful, awful sweep that you get from simply dodging a strike in full guard. But like I was saying, I figured, okay. A lot of times when players get this way, when, they, when they're when they fighting on the feed and it's not working out and they start taking you down over and over again, there's a very good chance what they're looking for is a very easy submission. So they could probably try to get your back. Once they take your back, they want to try to get you out of there with a submission because they, they're, they're, they don't think they're going to be able to get you on the feed. So I'm just keeping myself safe. I know I rocked him. I dropped him twice in this round. This is my round 100%. Um, I'm just being very careful with it as round number one is over. Now, round number two is where things go way downhill, as you guys are going to see. At this point, he's like, I don't care. I, I'm going to do everything in my power to win. And watch, what he, watch what he does as this round starts. I go to touch his gloves. Boom. Fake glove touch. I'm like, oh, okay. That's what we're doing. I rock him right there. I go to sit him down. He's got good head movement. He's just kind of wiggling his head all over the place. I believe I was able to sit him down, though, shortly after this. But right here, it became pretty goddamn evident. Okay. This dude is no longer playing nice. He's going to do everything in his power to try to win as I sit him down again. A good player, fake glove touching, tries to take me down again, able to deny the takedown. He's gonna try to get me in the clinch. He finally gets it, and this is what they love. Put you against the cage, take your back, and from there, over and over and over again, he's going to try to take my back. 
probably jump on my back and get a submission. I sit him down again. Pass. Now, the way what I'm trying to do right here is um, I'm trying to see if maybe I can deter him from taking me down over and over again. Maybe if I can show him that my ground game is decent, maybe that's going to, you know, make him not want to take me down over and over again. But right there, I flatten him out. I actually deny that a little bit. Waste his stamina. We're going to get ourselves to side control. For some reason, though, I wasn't able to hold this side control. I really, really, really wanted to, to side control this dude, but he was able to wiggle out for some reason. I wasn't able to hold it. Right there, he also wiggles out of that one. And we're back on the feet. Also, this dude sent me a message after this fight. It was a pretty, pretty nasty message. Like, like one of the saltiest ones I've got in a very, very long time. I set him down again. And this is, this is ego. This is ego, okay? He came in here with a thought in his head. He had a thought in his head. This fight was going to go uh, a specific way. Oh, you know, it's, it's a Division 17 player. You, you know, I'm Division 20. I'm just going to run through him or whatever. It didn't play out he, like he thought. And he completely lost his fucking mind. Nope, deny that. And that, that right there, it told me everything I need to know. He wants to take my back and he wants to get me in a rear naked choke. That's what he wants to do now. I denied the attempt to, to jump my back again. That's right there. That's his Hail Mary now. That's his Hail Mary. He knows on the feet he, it's not going to happen. It's just not going to happen on the feet. So now his best, best possible chance will be take my back and get a submission. And that is, that's harder than, it, than he might think it's going to be. So round number two is about to end. We kind of just let the, let the clock run down right there. Round number three, it's going to be more of the same. Except in round number three, he's going to be a lot more diligent with the clinch attempts. He's going to be way, way, way more diligent with it. Like He's going to be doing everything in his power to really try to get me down. By the way, if you guys can hear a baby crying in the background, I apologize for that. She's pretty loud right now. Okay. Round number three. Round number three, he he tries to touch my gloves again, but I know exactly what he's trying to do. He's trying to fake glove touch me, and so I just I, I refuse the glove touch completely. Right there, he gets a trip, takes my uh, gets side control. I'm able to get him to full guard, recovered full guard. He makes his way back to half guard, and I believe right there he tried to get me to side control, and then from side control he will probably try to find a way to take my back, but nope. I'm going to build grapple advantage a little bit, and I'm going to roll him to full guard right there. Grab the hip, bump, bridge, roll him to full guard. Now, right here, I'm going to look for an opportunity to get back up to my feet. I don't like being in full guard. He's got, some, he's got quite a few options. The last thing I want is for him to roll me in the mount right there. Same thing to the clinch, taking my back again. I just... I, Nope, deny his attempt to take me down. He shoots, and he gets it again. So right now, we're full-on, full-on panic wrestling mode. We're full-on, let me get this fight to the ground. And I'm just frustrating him. I'm frustrating the fuck out of him. I'm not giving him anything that he wants. He wants to get to backside. I'm denying backside. He sits there, punching my body a little bit. He tries to get me in that choke. I deny that. I'm just keeping my denies as, as tight as possible. Nope, deny that. He's going to fake a few more times and try to go to the left, but then I'm going to reverse him because I hit the deny really quick. Watch this. Boom. Hit that deny real quick. Right there, I also try to hold him in side control, able to deny that, but then the moment he attempts to roll to sprawl, I can't stop it for some reason. I couldn't stop that, but that's okay. I was able to prevent him from standing back up. Pepper him in the body a few more times. Just a few more times. I mean, this dude was salty as fuck. Salty as hell. 
Work the body, work the body, work the body. He gets back up, gets me in the clinch again. And right from here, I just decided to tee off on him. We wait, we wait, we wait. He gets the takedown again. Now he's got me where he wants me. Oh, perfect. He's got me exactly where he wants me. First thing he's going to do is that. I deny the first one. He's going to go again. This time he gets it. But look how easy I'm going to escape from this. And I think this also added to his annoyance. Because in his mind, he probably thought, if I can just get this dude here, if I can just get him in the rear naked choke, I'll be able to get him. But nope. We're able to get out of there, and the round is going to be over. See, at this point, his options are slowly but surely closing up completely. At this point, he just does not have any other options. He's not going to be able to get the fight done on the feet. Taking me down and submitting me using a rear naked choke is going to be a lot harder than he thought. And he's foaming at the mouth at this point. My man is foaming at the mouth, and you guys will see. Get the fuck out of here, trying to fake glove touch me again. <laughs> he's trying to fake glove touch me again. But I saw it coming. He's doing a good job with his head movement, just wiggling his head all over the place. I set him down with the uh, with the body, body, body combination. Take him down and look what he does. He quits out the match. He quits out the match like a good little bitch. He runs like a good little bitch. And then, as soon as he quit out the match, he sent me a message that I'm going to put on the screen right now. Message essentially reads, Lil nigga, I hope you die. <laughs> oh my god, bro. Why are you so goddamn salty, man? Why are you so salty? You know, you, 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 you can't say I cheesed him. You can't say that. You can't say I was playing I was playing the game wrong. He just got mad. He just got mad that he couldn't have his way with me. And I find that to be so fucking weird because I'm the opposite. I don't run into good players often in this game. I really don't. And when I do, when I run into a player that's actually good, I tend to get very excited. I'm like, oh my god, here we go. We're about to do something. And so it's so weird when you get a, a player that runs into you and you're doing you're doing you're doing fine and that pisses them off to the point that they quit out the match and send you a nasty message. Anyways, at least we get some good content out of that. Keep it coming, folks. I love it. Anyways, we are going to end it right here. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like, and uh, I'll see you guys later with a brand new one. As always, stay safe. Peace out.